Hey my angels, welcome back to another video. Today I have another Dollar Tree haul. I don't know if any of you have actually bought groceries from the Dollar Tree, but if you go there and look at the grocery aisle, they actually have quite a bit of things to choose from. So today I'm going to show you some of the things I recently picked up for lunches for work for probably a couple weeks. They have a really good selection. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this haul. All right, this first bag that I'm digging into actually has quite a bit of the food items that I picked up. And um, these things I have not seen at the grocery store, but they do have them at the Dollar Tree. They have the bottles at the grocery store, but I have not seen the individual packets of the Olive Garden dressing. And then you get three single serve cups in each one. And for $1.25, that's not bad. Um, so I got two of these. Um, I also got my mom two of them and then I'm probably going to go back and get some more of these because I like the idea of this instead of opening a whole bottle of salad dressing and then I am going to be eating more lower carb things and I'm focusing on increasing like my omega-3s and stuff like that so I did pick up some of the packets um, of the tuna and salmon that they have and these I know at the local grocery store and at Walmart, Meyer, places like that they go from anywhere from like a dollar fifty six to two dollars a packet for the salmon the tuna every once in a while you can find them on sale for a dollar maybe a dollar twenty five um, but these obviously were a dollar twenty five each so I got one ranch to try so this is the ranch tuna creations by Starkist I've not tried the ranch before um, I got the OG lemon pepper that I love so I got one of the tuna OG lemon peppers <laughs> and then I have not tried the sweet and spicy so I did end up getting two of the sweet and spicy tuna creations and then you guys are going to think I'm nuts but I bought like the whole a whole box display of the wild Alaskan pink salmon chicken of the sea lemon and pepper so I did buy 12 of these and I bought these for lunches. Also, I'm trying to, like I said, increase my omega-3s. That is part of my fertility journey. Um, increasing your omega-3s is really good for your ovarian function. Um, so I did get 12 of those. You get 13 grams of protein and one packet of the salmon. And then for the tuna, you get 16 grams of protein. Um, and I know like when you're trying to conceive, um, they say to limit your um, intake of like the fish and seafood because that can increase mercury in your body. Um, but for these, the recommended amount of like ounces that you can eat a week, you could have like up to three packets a week. So that's not bad. And for $1.25, that makes for a nice, healthy, cheap lunch. So that's why I bought all of these. All right, now this next item is not low carb, but it is for lunches. And they do have packages of the Snyder's of Hanover mini pretzels. Now you get six mini bags and one thing. Um, so the mini bags are, how many ounce servings? You get 6.5 ounce servings. So just your typical size mini bag. So I did end up getting two of these um, for lunches to break up between myself and my husband. I'll probably be going back and getting more of these um, because I feel like pretzels, while they're not low carb, they are something um, good to eat with like hummus and things like that um, or just for a quick snack. These little packets have 11 carbohydrates and only 50 calories per packet. I did get a couple more like food type items and those are the sandwich slices, kosher sandwich slices. These are the Breckenridge Farms brand. Never Never really heard of it. I'm sure it's just a Dollar Tree brand, but these sliced dill pickles go for at least $2 or more at the grocery store. So definitely a steal on these. I also did pick up the Breckenridge Farm dill pickle spears. And these are 17 fluid ounces each. So just like your standard smaller pickle jar size. 
So I feel like those are a really good deal for $1.25. Um, like I said, they're definitely way more expensive at the grocery store, even buying like the Great Value brand or buying Target's brand. If you're shopping at Target, it's definitely more for that size pickle jar. Also, while I was perusing the food section, I did see some freeze-dried strawberries by the Be Fruitful brand. Never tried them before, but freeze-dried strawberries are pretty expensive um, at the grocery store. So this is just a smaller bag. Um, it is 0.56 ounces. So just over half an ounce, but I got this to just kind of sprinkle over some yogurt. Um, there, there are carbohydrates in this, obviously. There's 14 carbs, one fiber. So if you're following like a diabetic diet, you would subtract the fiber from the carbs and that would give you 13 carbs and that is in the entire package so that is not too bad um, obviously I'm not going to be eating the entire package I'm just sprinkling a little bit with my granola on my yogurt in the morning um, just to give my yogurt a little bit of a kick but I love freeze-dried strawberries so I can't wait to try these and see what they taste like hopefully they're good I, I forgot that I bought this item. I also got a bag of lentils. So if you check in the food aisle, they do have bags of dried beans. Um, and they did have these lentils there for $1.25. And, you know, just a nice bag. How big is this? 16 ounce bag. So it's your typical, like, size of dried bean bag. Um, <laughs> bean bag. <laughs> of dried beans from the grocery store and yeah I wanted to make some lentil soup because lentils um, I have read about them and they are really good for iron all right now these next items I was super excited to see as soon as I walked into the door they usually have like their seasonal stuff off to the right um, at all of our uh, local Dollar Trees and they had school supplies that they were putting out and they did have some Disney 100 items. Um, they had a couple different things. So they had, a, <laughs> I just smacked myself in the face. And they had a pack of folders. So there's two folders. So Disney 100. And this does look like the Disney 100 merchandise that they are currently selling in the parks and at Shop Disney. So there's the other folder. These are super cute and it does have the logo or the slogan celebrating a hundred years of music and wonder down on the bottom there. You can see that. My ring light is very bright. Sorry about that. <laughs> and to match the folders, they have these eight color pens. So Disney 100 eight color pen. I did end up getting two of the pens, so I got two of those. Definitely going to be using these in my journals and my planners. I love the little clicky pens that have the different colors. Um, usually the ink does not last long in them, but I will probably keep one package and then use the other um, just for just to keep this for nostalgia purposes um, because I am a Disney person and I have been collecting like the 50th merch and the 100th merch. Now also around the school supplies they did have these cute little journals. Now this just has like plain uh, lined paper in it if you can see that. Just lined paper. There you go. Now you can see it. Um, and the front says do what you love and I just thought that this was really cute. Just a cute little 60 page journal. Little pretty flowers on the back. So I want to start journaling daily and just kind of like writing down my feelings and um, whatever's on my mind. And then in the crafting aisle slash uh, office supplies aisle, <laughs> they did have this pack of sticky notes. So they're super cute. I thought that they had pretty patterns. This one you get one, two, three, four, four of these slim style and then two smaller squares, two larger squares, and then like two half boxes, if that makes sense. If you do planning, then you'll know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I thought that these would be cute just to have on hand to like write myself little notes and stuff. 
And then they also had these little packs. Now, I know they've had these for a while. These are also a little sticky note thing, but it has alpaca. He's so cute. And on the inside, it has different sticky notes with the alpaca as well. Hopefully you can see that. But he's cute. I thought he was a sweet little alpaca with his little sweater. And these ones are really cute. These smaller ones have cute print. So yeah, I picked up those just to have on hand if I need to like write myself a quick little sticky note and stick it in my planner or somewhere. All right, the last bag that I have has some beauty items in here. They did have some really cute headbands over by the back to school stuff. And I've been a headband girl um, since I started nursing, actually. I like to put my hair up either in a ponytail or up in a bun. And then I usually have a headband holding my hair out of my face because I don't want my hair like dangling and all the business that I'm trying to do. <laughs> Try to put IVs in, you got your hair dangling. No, this doesn't work good. So here is one of the headbands and it's just this really cute tie-dye like cloud print and I liked the purples and oranges. So there's that. And then this one is also like a tie-dye cloud print and it's just pinks and purples. Very cute. It has like the little top knot at the top. So this is a style of headband that I typically wear like I bought a huge pack of them from Amazon for like $16 or something but these are good enough for me to wear at work and then you know they get sweaty and stuff whatever I don't care if it's it's a dollar 25 I don't care if they get <laughs> sweaty but I thought that that was a good find for me for wearing at work also by the back to school stuff they always have these big eraser correction pens so it's just um, some white out correction pen I got two of these for my planner because um, I you know there's always things that get written in the planner and then you're like oh shoot that got canceled or whatever so I like to use these in my planner just to adjust my plans in there so it looks a little bit neater and then you can write on top of them. In the beauty aisle, they do sell bobby pins. I bought two packs of these for my work because we have patients um, coming in having procedures and sometimes they're having Botox done and their hair is in the way and I like to pin their hair out of the way so that the doctor can get to where he needs to get. I also use them for myself. They're really handy for putting my hair up in a bun so I have a ton of those bobby pins that I've bought from the Dollar, Dollar Tree and I've had some of them for like years and years and they don't rust or anything. Now over in the beauty, beauty aisle I did find some more Ioni uh, lashes. These ones are the wispy medium length and they're the individual lashes. So these are the ones that you put on individually. I got two packs of these. I'm going to give them a try. Um, I tried some of the lashes like these in the past and I didn't do that good of a job but I think I'm like better at application now that I'm a little bit older. So I'm going to give these a try and see how they do. I do like the solid strip lashes from Ioni, so I think I'm gonna like these a lot. Last but not least, I also picked up a pair of these tweezers from Ioni. I needed a new pair of tweezers, and these look like really nice ones. I like that the handle is actually thicker. Um, I feel like that that makes it easier, especially if you use it for like applying lashes or something, but these are precise tweezing and comfortable grips, so I really like that. And for $1.25, I feel like that is a steal because tweezers like these go for quite a bit more. I like Ulta and Sephora. All right, friends, that is all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this quick little Dollar Tree haul. Let me know in the comments below if you found any of these items and if you've tried any of them. Let me know if you have found any Disney 100 merchandise at your local Dollar Tree. I was really surprised to find that, honestly. If you have not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. That lets the algorithm know that you like videos like this and that you enjoy my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!